the old overworked cliche is sometimes you have to go back to your roots to realize what you're really special about you. And fast forward this thing up to, I opened a bunch of retail stores. Next thing I know, I was doing favors for other retailers by getting them comics and padding them onto my order just because it helped me get to those minimums and increments that you had to buy back in the crazy days. And we were only doing it because we had to have a reason to get them to come to the store so we could sell them back issues. Now, this sounds very counterintuitive for the guy who owns Diamond Comics that lives off of selling new product. But, and I know, how many, this is almost a scary question to ask, but how many people still, I mean, in the literal sense, stock back issues as a full line? Not many hands comparatively, is it? And I know the reason, and we, so to speak, benefit it because there's so much new product. Retail square per square foot is expensive and it's harder and harder to justify with this mountain of, of product to, to carry it all. But these days are coming back, if you've noticed. There's a lot more resurgence into the back issue market, but I'll hold on that thought for a minute. We know, and this may sound counterintuitive, close your ears, Diamond employees, you buy from Diamond, and we love you, and it's, can can imagine, we're not here without you, and, the, and the, it's an, an obvious statement. But because of the way the industry's evolved, the West is where it's grown from a cottage industry to an industry where you're a retailer more than you are just a comic store. You have to have, have to have more products than you ever had before, because your customers have limited time. I keep going back to the time, they have the same amount of time. So if this store has got all these things, and you have to go 10 different places. You want to keep them coming to you. So you say, oh, well, they're, they're saying, but now the guy's right there when I get my paycheck and he's got an email that says, buy my comics and Amazon, I get them 40% off or I get a discount, they're freight paid to my door. What is really happening to you? What's happening to you has happened to everybody else. The world has become so, and we're all part of it and guilty of it, the world has become so dependent on home entertainment. You can get your groceries delivered to your house. Here goes back with the counterintuitive for Diamond, hold your ears. Wednesday is comic book day. And let's say Wednesday is a light week. Don't hit the panic button and say, okay, I'll see you next week. Don't make them think that everything revolves around Wednesday. Give them reasons to come in all the time. Whether it's something you buy from Diamond or something you buy elsewhere, but you've got to keep them feeling dependent on that experience that only you can provide. 